This tutorial will cover the Beta AI Graphic Generator tool. Type in a keyword to generate a graphic image of your choice and see the 3D results in real time. Before you can run the Beta AI Graphic Generator tool, you must have a placeholder graphic applied to a garment first. Select the graphic that you want to replace with the Transform Graphic tool. In the Graphic Properties window, next to the Basic Parameters button, click the AI Graphic Generator Beta button. The AI Graphic Generator Beta dialog box will populate. In the option at the top of the dialog box, you can set the content type and background, and then enter keywords for the text prompt. The generated images will appear below the text prompt as a preview. You can view your previously generated images in the History tab. At the top of the image, you can see the option values and prompts that were selected when generating the AI image. The generated history will only be saved until the Marvelous Designer software is closed. Let's take a look at the options available with the AI Graphic Generator tool. Content type allows you to specify the type of content to generate. Art lets you choose a specific art style of the graphic image to generate. If you don't want to specify an art style, select None. Enabling the Transparent Background option allows you to create a transparent background for whatever image you generate. Note that you can't apply a transparent background to the pop art style. Now let's generate a graphic image by entering some prompts. When entering a text prompt, be sure to type in English to get a more accurate result. Once you are done entering the prompts for your desired graphic, click the Generator button to generate the image. The generated images are seamless. The AI Texture Generator will show different results each time, even if you enter the same prompts, in order to generate as many new and different images as possible. When using the text prompt, it is best to list out the words rather than write complex or descriptive sentences. Longer sentences tend to distort the image, so we recommend using commas to separate out the words. If you want to emphasize a particular word, use parentheses around that word that you want to emphasize. The words are weighted. The more parentheses you give them, the more weight they will have in the prompt. It is weighted as follows, 1.1 times if you use parentheses once, and 1.2 times if you use them twice around one word. As you can see, the emphasis with the parentheses makes a difference in the resulting image. If you want to get ideas for keywords to type in for your prompt or you want to randomly generate an image, click on the six-sided die icon. This allows you to generate a variety of images and try them out. Use the pin icon to update the prompt or generate a new image with as much of the pre-existing result as possible. Create a new image by referencing an existing image. Note that if you modify the prompts, the results may differ from the previous results depending on what is added and what is changed. Results can take time to generate depending on the prompt, so you can collapse this dialog box by pressing the arrows at the top of the window. While the image is being generated, you can work on your other garments within Marvelous Designer. When the creation is completed, the collapsed window will indicate that it is finished. To enlarge the window, press the top arrow once more. Once a desired image is created, make sure to click the Apply button at the bottom of the window to place it in the scene. You can click on the previously created image in the history to apply it to the garment as well. With this tool, you can now create custom graphics without having to leave Marvelous Designer.